Hey guys, it's Dr. Tomato. Welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to be talking about the movie The Dark Crystal. The Dark Crystal is a dark fantasy movie from the 80s directed by Jim Henson and Frank Oz. The Dark Crystal is considered to be the first and possibly only live action movie to star no humans at all. This is a film where the entire cast is just made up of puppets. I know that that was actually used as a selling point when the movie came out, and I'm not exactly sure if kids cared or not about it. I don't really think kids would appreciate the idea of an entire cast in a movie being puppets, but I think lots of adults would really like the idea, especially today when so many people are into these cult classics like this. This might be the only movie to do that, but it is very possible that there is another movie out there like that that I'm just forgetting about. If there is another live action movie that stars no humans at all, then definitely be sure to let me know because I want to know what I'm missing. But anyway, this is a movie about a creature called a Gelfling, and he believes that he is the last of his kind, and he is sent on a quest to prevent the end of the world. And along his quest, he finds out that he's not the last of his kind as he meets another Gelfling named Kira. The movie is made exactly how you would picture a 80s dark fantasy to be. It's pretty much these characters just go on a journey and they come across all sorts of strange and mystical creatures. Now this is a movie that is super imaginative. I am a big fan of Jim Henson's work. I love everything he does and especially when he makes movies like this. Unfortunately, the only other dark fantasy movie that Jim Henson made in the 80s was The Labyrinth, but I am still very happy that these kinds of movies exist because there is just so much work, so much love and care that goes into them. I read a review once that said that this movie is like a dream, and I think that is probably the best way to summarize it. And I really think that is because there really isn't any other movie quite like this. It's just its own thing, and that's what makes it so unique. As far as the look of the movie, it's absolutely beautiful. Not just because of the puppet designs, but also the background sets are gorgeous. You can tell that while they were making this movie, they had a vision, and they made that vision come to life. As far as the look of the movie, this probably turned out exactly the way Jim Henson and Frank Oz pictured. Now, if you were going to judge this movie on story, it's nothing great. It's a pretty generic movie. The thing with movies is either the visuals have to be really strong to carry the movie or the story itself has to be really strong. It's still possible to make a movie with really good visuals and then have it be considered a bad movie, but I think for that to happen you have to have a really bad script to begin with. And the script for this movie is definitely nothing that bad. It's a harmless script, it does exactly what it wants to, and that is make a dark fantasy movie. I think that The Dark Crystal is possibly the perfect example of visuals carrying a story. If this were a live action movie, it likely would have been forgotten, but it's thanks to the beautiful visuals that it has become a cult classic. I think that Jim Henson is a good example of why people miss practical effects. I think what people like the most about practical effects is the fact that most of them look very realistic and that they're actually there. But what's interesting about Jim Henson's style is that in something like The Dark Crystal, he's not really trying to make everything look realistic. And that kind of shows that it's not just that that people love about practical effects, but also the amount of love and care and work that goes into them. And that's not to say that something like CG does not have a lot of work that goes into it. I believe that people that do work in CG definitely deserve a lot more attention than they get. But then if you take something like The Dark Crystal, if this movie were a CG animated film, it would have been made a lot faster than it probably actually was. Every single one of the puppets in this movie had to be handcrafted and that must have taken forever. The 80s was also a time where we had a lot of dark fantasy movies. We had Never Ending Story, Labyrinth, Return to Oz, and I think that's a genre that has kind of, for the most part, died out in this day and age. What I admire about dark fantasy movies is the fact that most of them were actually for kids yet they could still contain a lot of scary moments. Scary moments in a children's film is something that makes a movie memorable. I think that most of the family movies made today are probably a bit too cautious. People seem to forget that even classic Disney movies like Pinocchio had a lot of scary moments. And though there are still a lot of good family movies made today, you're still missing that element of 
something that's going to scare the kids that they're going to remember long after they saw it. Now, it's not completely necessary in a family movie, it's just something that I really like and wish movies would bring back. I think the best example of this in recent years is probably Coraline. Coraline is a good example, I think, of a dark fantasy. It's got all those fantasy elements and a lot of moments that are going to scare kids, but make them remember it. It really is a shame that Jim Henson did make a third dark fantasy movie. It would have been really nice to see a trilogy that combines Dark Crystal, Labyrinth, and some other movie. I don't know, when it comes to movies, everything seems to work better in threes. Overall, The Dark Crystal is a movie that I really enjoyed watching. It's very imaginative, and there's nothing quite like it. Watching this movie is quite the experience. If you're a big fan of Jim Henson's work, then you'll definitely love this movie. I think the people that I recommend this to most are just anyone who loves fantasy or the magic of practical effects. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.